because of the polarization and also the competition between different groups of elites. Uh, right. Now, Biden, of course, recently just managed to uh, gain a razor thin margin in the Senate. Um, do you think with that margin, uh, we can expect to see less polarization in the coming years uh, because the Democrats will be able to, um, yeah, to get their plans through, or, or don't you think so? I certainly hope so. And I think the razor thin majority is in some ways the best outcome. If Democrats had a large majority so that they didn't even need to pull all Democrats together, then you might see, oh yeah, we, we, you know, we want a landslide. We can do whatever we want. We can ignore the opposition. Mm. That's not healthy either. Uh, when Republicans started to say, we're not even going to bring legislation to a vote unless the majority of Republicans approve it, you wiped out a whole sphere of useful action where a majority in Congress could be put together from Republicans and Democrats who agree. Yeah. So the centrist middle was essentially stripped away when Republicans got so polarized that they said, only if, only if Republicans approve this as a majority will we even take it to the floor. So I think that was awful. <laughs> and that was a symptom of the polarization and dysfunction we have. But I think that's gonna go away. I think what we'll see now with these razor thin margins in both the House and the Senate mm -hmm is the need for a broad majority to get things done. We're not going to see, I don't think, we may see some uh, judicial appointments, for example, uh, rushed through by a one vote party line. But in general, the more rules that are passed through by that kind of thin one-sided majority, the more unstable we are, because those are exactly the things that will be reversed the moment the opposition takes yeah. power doesn't matter whether you're Democrat or Republican. When we look at things like Social Security and we look at things like Medicare or even the Clean Air, the Clean Water Act, which by the way, were both passed by Republican administrations. Mm -hmm. The reason they lasted as law is there was a broad bipartisan agreement behind them. If you don't have that, even your successes like Obama, Obamacare may be short lived. So whatever we do, whether it's immigration reform or health care reform or tax reform, I hope we will have an effort to build a broad center. Let's isolate the extremists in both the Republican and Democratic parties and have the center that most Americans believe in and, and can support be the force behind legislation. Then we'll be yeah. much better off and we'll put some of these polarization and political instability problems behind us. So